Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FrameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are creating a very exciting tutorial. I know many of you are a couple so this tutorial is specially for those. Ok so let's see what we will create today. I know you like it and you can download this project file and you can customize it. Download link in the description box below. So please check this out. It's totally free. And can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so open After Effects and create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition and let's call it slideshow. And I'm going with 1920 by 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 8 seconds for one slide then click on ok ok now import your image you can also use video clips then select the image file and place this in your timeline then press H to open scale and make it little bit smaller perfect Ok now right click on this layer and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to image. Then click on ok. Also make this layer 3D. If you don't see the 3D button simply click here. Ok now select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for cc page turn then select the effect and apply onto this layer ok now change some settings control set it classic ui and then uh, render set it front page then change the amount of fold direction maybe uh, maybe plus uh, maybe 6 degree then change the fold radius to 188 ok now go to beginning of this animation and zoom level set it 25% then select this effect and then set a keyframe on fold position and then change the fold position to something like this then go forward 1 second 10 frame and then change the fold position to something like this perfect Ok now select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then select the first layer and press U and delete the keyframes. Then again set keyframe on fold position. And then change the fold position to something like this. Then go forward 5 seconds. Then change the fold position like this. Ok. Now go to effect and preset window and search for drop shadow. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. And opacity set it 100. And then direction set it minus 64 degree. 
and distance set it 3 and softness set it 380 perfect now we can see a nice folding effect also change the fold radius to 325 and also change the uh, fold direction amount maybe 7 degree perfect okay now select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor if your graph does not look like this then right click and choose edit speed graph okay now change the graph curve to something like this perfect now switch back to timeline again select this layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer then press u to open keyframes and then go to beginning of this animation and then select this two keyframe and press delete and then zoom level set it 25 percent and then again Set a keyframe on fold position and then change the fold position. Then go to around uh, 6 second. Then change the position to something like this. perfect okay now change the fold radius to 350 and change the amount of fold direction to minus 9 degree then select these two keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease and then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this Okay, switch back to timeline and change the position a little bit. Perfect. Okay, let's ramp view this. Wow, it's look really nice. Ok now select the second layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for tint. Then select the effect and apply onto this second layer for black and white effect. Looks good to me. Ok let's import our project files. then select the files and then place this in your timeline then select the particles layer and then press alt ctrl f to fit this into composition then select these two layer and change the layer mode to screen and then press t to open opacity and opacity set it 70% for both layers perfect Okay, now create a new adjustment layer. So right click new and click on adjustment layer. Then go to effect and preset window 
and search for optics compensation then select the effect and apply onto this adjustment layer then go to beginning of this animation and then change the FOV orientation set it diagonal and then click on reverse lens distortion and also turn on optimal pixel then click here to change view center like this okay now change the FOV amount to 110 and set a keyframe on field of view then go to around 2 seconds and FOV amount set it 0 now select the adjustment layer and press U to open keyframes and then select the second keyframe and press F9 to make it easy ease looks good to me okay now select this two layer and then turn on underlay transparency okay now we are created text layer so right click new and click on text and I am using two different fonts you can download this font from link in the description box below okay now type your text here you can customize your text as you like perfect looks good to me okay now go to around 3 seconds and then go to effect and preset window and click on animation preset then click on preset then open text and then click on blurs then select evaporate script and apply onto this text layer then press U to open keyframes and select the last keyframe and drag it into the one second now select this two keyframe and press f9 to make them easy ease now we can see a nice smooth text animation wow it's look really nice Also make this text layer 3D. Okay now we are create a camera. So right click new and click on camera and preset set it uh, 50mm then click on ok. Then go to beginning of this animation and then select the camera layer and press AA to open camera properties. Then set a keyframe on zoom. Then go to end of this animation and increase the zoom amount very high like this. Now you can see a nice zoom in effect. Okay now create a new black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and uh, color set it black and rename it to mask then click on ok. Now select the layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and hold down alt ctrl and drag then change the max mode to subtract perfect our animation is ready press 0 to ramp view this that's how i made the whole project you can download this project file from link in the description box below so please check this out thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a nice day